Alright, cheerful. Let's go. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Wow, this is, okay, I was about to say, it's very fast. Oh, Dad can put the bill. I'm sure my dad will want to spare no expense. We all look broke. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are going to think I married you for your money. No, I was hoping wow, they'd think you baby. married me for my hot bot. Julia. This guy's terrible. Alex, the money thing really doesn't bother me, but it clearly bothers you. And that's a problem for me. What does that mean? Should I do something? What, a, what, what is this guy? Honestly, I don't know. But we're here, you know? Uh oh. And we made this commitment, so let's just be here in the moment. This guy's a baby. Maybe it'll work out. I'll be taking a big, in the big moment. wedding. Yeah. Sure. Free wedding. All right. I can't deal with this right now. Alex. Where's my brother? I, I don't know. Oh, you've been saying that a lot. Just stop. Let me go find him. I thought I was hey, like a super you see my chat. Brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? <laughs> Love his shirt. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Huh. That's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? I thought we were feeling each other. Oh, yeah, the beers. Mm -hmm. I was just getting them now. I did a very bad job of getting those two together. That everybody's here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. We're going to play again. This is... This is for an object in my hand. I've never seen one of these before. Rescue service, Conwin Island. I don't they were talking behind me. That's it. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be looking for something, but I'll probably miss everything in the game. Was exploring uh, yeah, barbecue. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. With you, we'll be fine. Uh, Let me, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Room. No worries. Let's go get it. Super jealous and possessive or something? What's happening? Got it. Let's go up. I didn't get to Wait. look. Can we talk about what just happened? Later, Alex, okay? Here. Right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start this again. Do a second playthrough. So it'd be, this will be the non-romantic playthrough. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? That's how the haunted stuff. It is. takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Who yeah, actually knows the word fuselage? Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
You know what? This is a terrible playthrough. This oh, come is come on. Bad. No one knows we've even been down there, and I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. It's the American playthrough. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Damn yeah, straight. I, I heard a story. He was down there taking it. Happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, everybody's dying in this playthrough. Uh, let's be American. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. <laughs> Scare away, little pretty bro. Pretty scary story, Okay, guys. here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. It's move. All right, let's go. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the More rack. people have meat hooks than axes. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no back seats. You're locked in. <laughs> so the lighthouse keeper very, like, over to the closet, insecure about this marriage opens thing. the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. How do you do that with his face? Super twist. Nice. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be the nice Keep Connie fire. Alive playthrough at all costs. If I can keep Conrad alive, I'm happy. going? Pretty cool. Get me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. All right, Brad got a few points fun? there. I don't we hate him as much anymore. In. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No 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 no. Because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. <laughs> I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. They gave him a very, like, Barney Stinson kind of personality in this. Where's the creepy kids? You read it this time.
Oh no, this is how Brad died. Something happened to Brad. It was this lighting in that room. <clears throat> oh, this is calm. that fisherman? I hit the buttons. This guy. What's happening? This is not a ghost story. Don't kill Conrad. Anybody but Conrad. You can have Julia and Alex. Oh, it is the fisherman, okay. Bro, you didn't take the money, that's not my fault. I gave you like 50 bucks. At least she doesn't have a beard. Yeah, what is it? It's gonna be me and Fliss. Sorry, Alex. What? I didn't, I didn't choose to save him. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was gonna talk here. You just had to piss them off, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I kinda had to. Alright. God damn it. This is all my fault. I'm gonna repair I'm my sorry. relationship with Fliss. Okay, I'm sorry. Conrad's gonna live. <laughs> no one's gonna take his gag off. Why they gag everyone anyway? I mean, who's gonna hear us? Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! I feel like this could take it. What's Alex doing? Everybody else is getting free, he's just kind of chilling there. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Oh, yeah, they never met. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. Hey, where's Brad? I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. I guess I'll untie him Guys, if I have to. We gotta get untied, right now. Jukes. That was like the Fuck weakest up. kick ever. Uh, was... I'll be back for you later. Oh, we, we didn't get untied. Nobody knows yeah, you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Got him. You're the little lady. Oh, they didn't give me a dodge. <laughs> By the way, the scratch boat was not my fault. Anybody but him. Take Brad. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Don't kill him. Please, don't. Just stop, man. Don't kill him. Don't kill my boy. Okay. That's good. Let's 
Pretend I'm gonna behave for now. Okay. Julia, we're coming back. Oh, pretend you're tied up. Pretend you're tied up. Actually, you probably could have cut her free quickly and then done it. These guys aren't very good at washing their prisoners. Also, where's Brad? Did they kill him already? Jesus, Conrad. He's fine. Saw you place. up against the door. Okay, they're coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So many questions right now. Fuck, motherfucker! <laughs> I just had to tie myself up and sit down again. Julia, tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have? That's fine. It's okay. Who cares? It's okay. <laughs> if Alex be like, no, go get that ring back right now. I'll cut you free. Get it. No takesies, backsies. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Just give it to me straight. Is Brad dead? I don't remember if I had a choice about throwing the money off the boat. I assume no, I assume this has to happen. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, yeah. he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them. I can get a terrible idea, I feel like. A dude with a gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. This is not a good idea. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll this go through the window. Connie, the don't die. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Guys, no. I changed my mind. Stop it. Two. Oh, I was supposed to wait for the thunder sound. Connor, That's not good. Get to the boat. Mistakes are happening right now. <laughs> I was supposed to wait for the thunder. Oh, no. Alright, I can do this. I'm way in, way off my head here right now. I don't know what to do. Freaking out. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. I I made so many mistakes today. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't even know if he likes this guy. What are you guy. doing, you idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. No! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, or son. I made a mistake. I'm getting shot. Oh, I didn't get shot. Okay, I'm still alive at least. I'm still okay. A possible way I could have handled that situation. Over there. You. I know everybody's cringing right now. Sit. Now. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna recover. Simon Bateau, stop. Where's Brad? Ferme la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. This is America. You speak English. Speak American. Olsen, come here. So many mistakes were made, but we're all alive, so it's okay. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? This is the end of that episode. No. Alright, I think that went well. We're on the way to the gold. We're good. Okay, we're all fine. Nothing happened. Fliss, Duke of Milan, 1212 AM. So it's still the 20th of June. <laughs> Julia looks really old in this shot. What the hell, man? You should have escaped when you had the chance. Yeah. I did. I get it. All right. I assume I could have actually have escaped up. ever. There's no that. harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Cahoots. Right, we gotta keep together. I can't believe can what I'm apart. hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You can't We're fall apart right now. This, together. this is a trap, and you set us there up. There I am, so. Put a cork in it. Wait, did we hit it? Sit still. Follow you. Those tiger reflexes. You, come with me. Hey, where's Brad? Brad is in on this. Is he just sleeping through the whole thing? Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Yeah, this game's so Duke stressful. Milan requesting weather update. Over. No, it's not. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard. We should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Let's go. Let's just My, route. Uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Uh, not exactly no. going as planned. No, we tell them what's happening. Hey, just be careful. That's not the message I wanted to send. No! I hit it! I hit the button. 
get that? Don't you? I said I didn't care, but I'm gonna try to try to keep people alive here. I'm kind of regretting saving him, actually. Change my mind. Still alive. Things could have been quite different. Really? Is it good? <sighs> I actually don't know if anyone could have died. Kind hearted yet. creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Oh, I don't need it. I'm fine. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. You'll learn soon enough. Nobody's dying. Zero deaths. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. This guy's trying to play mind games with me. Conrad, step abandoned up, World up. War II freighter, 101 AM. Take the distributor cap off. <clears throat> oh, I assume we need that. I don't know anything about boats. Go. Probably can't move without that. Like that. Oh, can I at least have some shoes?
Nope. No thanks. Can't believe I agree with him. There hasn't been a lot of controlling characters in this one. I feel like Until Dawn had a lot more. But mostly it's cinematic. Can I get some premonitions or something? Help me. <laughs> I like how they're cool with me just checking things. Oh, they're not cool with me checking things. Never mind. I'll take it back. It's cold place. It's okay. Floating death trap. I'm an escape here. Hey, hey. Oh, I was just gonna get up in his face. I didn't think it mattered. Apparently. It does. Keep moving. And look at the realism in this game. Why are you losing everything? Go get your ring back. <laughs> Guys, this is not okay. I'd rather just get shot at this point. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Something about this place. Oh, we have no shoes on. That's like the most disturbing part of this whole scene. This is disgusting. Give me like a premonition or something. I need a hint, game. Is this it? I'm just gonna slap it out of my hand again. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't do anything. Am I in charge of their lives too, or just my own people? That'll be an interesting twist if I have to try to let them get killed, but also save mine to get out. Oh shit! I'm not even wearing shoes. This is weird. Can I not walk? Internal memorandum. Uh, 14th Division Army. I don't know what 517 TSE is. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he has guard duties in, his, in hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. William P. Ford. Copy to QMAMS. Again? This is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Just get on it. I stop being a baby. I'm actually not gonna lie, I want nothing to do with this shit. Can I walk somewhere? Oh, look at those arms. Okay, all of you, into the room. Oh wait, they don't have their bullet anymore, do they? Game kind of caught up with there. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Is it? Give us the light. I see a lot. Maybe we should give them something. Oh. So they can find their way out. Thanks. Mm. Oh, apparently we did have light. Alex, why are you such a liar? Language. Confident, puzzled, and confident. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship, 
and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. You no chassis. shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. You gotta see my face. You can't just sit around. You need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second thing with their gun. Not making enough. You gotta moves. take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. I mean, I take I take that. responsibility it's for that. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just like hotwire it or something? <laughs> no. You can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion no. that maybe we just apologize you know, and you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever but I I mean obviously that's not true they're being just as bad to you as they are to us so yeah allow me to translate he's saying that he's sorry well I hmm. well your apology is kind of accepted cool this guy's the worst cool alright I'm Connie Found something. Old newspaper. What happened here? Is it still here? Uh, American overseas gangland. Ling of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. So the Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the. Not that. Extras. Yeah. Kidnapping. Seven hundred and fifty a year. Extra time. Three fifty an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering. I'll get that you. He's not charging us for things. Oh yeah. I am down. Hey, look what I found over here. Finder. It's out there. Oh, wait, is this a hint? Julie, what are you doing? I wonder why this was ripped off. Oh, look at him. SS. I'll take a look. I don't want to. So many shinies in the room. What do you think this ship was? I'm the only person reading anything. What's this? Uh, Miss J. Rivera, apartment 2, 275 Lockwood Drive, Crescent Springs. Crescent Springs. I'm going to call it Crescent. Cincinnati, Kentucky, 41027. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Great. I get, All the places I get a lot of time on. to think while I'm guarding the cargo hold. Ocean. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep you safe too. I'll be with you soon, I'm guessing he doesn't, and get a job as soon, uh, soon as a mechanic. We can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller X. So, spoiler alert, we don't get back together. The ghost children get me. This real, real creepy. Glasses. No premonitions or anything? I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. 
I like that they keep the conversations going in the background. You feel me? Typically, it's just like silence for forever. All right, what's happening? Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, you're the worst, Alex. You can't do anything. Let's go. Let's go find ghost I think children. Just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah. Okay. Conrad, you do it. Conrad has to do everything here. Let's barricade first. Conrad can't even move a table. Wait, wait till I finish. <laughs> Does the door open in? <laughs> when the door opens out and the guy walks in. Pushing it together. <clears throat> well, I mean, where could we be? Why? I thought it was like press X. I didn't realize it was keep calm. <laughs> Man, these games are terrible. They like flash something quick on the screen. If you're not fast enough to press it, it's no good. And if like you don't keep calm, it's no good. Come on, game. Give me like a little bit of a break here. Are we safe now? Conrad, upper deck, 1.43 a.m. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back Escape. to Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. Yep, gotta get her. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Fliss. Oh, shit. You're right. See, I'm thinking it's like press X. And if I don't press it within like half a second, I fail. But then it's like, nope, it's actually a keep calm where you don't want to press X right away. Stupid game. I can't read this because my big head is in the way. <laughs> All right, we're going to start where I can see it. Due to the special security precautions on the mission, Additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and all and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. I wonder what a guard is doing normally. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court martial. By order of Captain Ford. Guys, nobody allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. We got in here. Man, I lost Fliss because this dumb button press. I just gotta move on. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. I can't dwell on the past. Anybody else trying to judge me out there? You try to do better. You better everybody be dead by now. Why can't I? Where am I? I don't understand these angles. And then there's the mystery of the smelling socks of punching briefs. Okay. Very informative. Got any hints in here? I need something. my least favorite part of all of this. Okay. 
I feel like everything's going over my head. We're all alive still. Maybe Fliss. But she's not really part of the crew, the original crew, so I think we're okay. Whoa, what was that? What, what's, what's here? Oh, there's something in the corner. Was there something there? I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Ghosts. Doesn't matter. Alright. Out of Where's the you are here arrow? Yeah, this map is terrible. Not like I could actually use it, but... Uh, hello. This is something I can do here. No. Was I supposed to be startled by that? Because I wasn't. What's in here? Why am I the only person searching for anything? Mistake right now. That's oh, just the paper. A lot of reading. <clears throat> Eileen Reed from Oklahoma. Dear Ailes, Isles, this is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're gonna see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. Uh, I feel like I should have a southern accent for this. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than in Oklahoma summer out here. Is it hot in Oklahoma? On land, and there is no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read. I don't like, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now. The, the war is over. I bet they'll edit this, this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. Robert X. Spooky. Is that like hugs? Hugs. It's a lot of letters that are just like sitting on the floor. Oh guys, are you I searching for this is okay. She's a tough cookie. Who's Fliss? Jay. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best. Okay? So like me, pretend she doesn't exist. Zero deaths. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know what you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. I am so freaked out. It's okay. Me too. I'll protect you. No promises. More reading? No, no, I'm just, I'm not going to open the book, I'm just going to look at it. Oh, okay, I'm opening it. Never mind. I can't read some of this. I identified some problem. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. I don't know what that means. June 20th. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whisker around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Okay. I'm gonna have more covered text. Engineer's law. We totally fucked. I, I did something on June 21st. Then June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began shortly after midnight. 
the lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck which has left damage the grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling I have received reports that the main problem caused by the storms are with electrical equipment at the moment it's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters despite the rough sea they have been there have been no reports of any structure damage however structural damage however I have to work through the night to make full damage assessment Hope nothing important happened the day before that. I also have no idea what I just read. The bad stuff happened to the ship on June. Oh wait, is this like the anniversary? All that happened. It's June twenty-first. Oh, this is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hole for a big surprise party. I hope so. I love surprise parties. What's this? Probably stop touching stuff. Oh, it's a tiny dinosaur. Okay. Oh no, not no, not another book. My head is in the way. I didn't realize you're gonna put all these books in the corner. All right, next time my head goes in the top left. <laughs> head stop being there. Can I move my head? Yeah, I can move it. How do I move my head? Let's put it here now. I'm sure I'm going to regret this in a second. Alright. Thursday 12. 12. Oh, we got Friday 13 coming. The skipper has kaled the booze for this whole trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board. That's terrible. Which isn't so weird, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Uh, B, he said. But he said. There was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. It got me thinking, who could be in those boxes? Those are the hazardous boxes. Friday the 13th. Booze was a uh, bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after the four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was the ditch water. It was like ditch water. Is that, is that like dirty water? Perez said they made some hooch from some flies that up did. Meeting up later down on G to check it out. Saturday the 14th. Just heard one of the guys here. And snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna be finding him and see what he saw. Maybe you can even help me get it and get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Alright guys, I'm ready for some action. I'm ready to fight some ghosts. Is that already? I'm a little faster here. What's in here? What's that? Oh, oh premonition. Let's go. Uh, they're gonna kill Alex, and I probably have nothing I can do about it. Cool. All right, goodbye, Alex. Okay, I kind of understood that. Let's see if it helps me. Is there a way that way? Am I coming down? Oh, <laughs> it's banging my head on the wall. This way? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing shoes. Wait, why does she get shoes? Oh, it's the Brad with the shoes. Who's the shoes? There's a room. Down there. 
Oh, real sneaky with that flashlight there. <laughs> Alright, so Alex is going to get his head bashed in by one of the crew members. Unless I can stop it. Oh, I like this shirt. It was like cut off polo, but it's like just barely cut off. Oh, he put it down. Alright, we got to get that. Probably going to fail miserably. Why are we talking? We should grab it. How can you not hear this in this echoey place? Brad, shut up. Uh, thank you for joining me on the second episode of Man and Medan. Things picked up a ton in this episode. There's a lot of action. Got a lot more tense. I didn't see the uh, boat co people coming back. I thought it was just going to be more of a supernatural horror once we found the larger freight ship. I have a big decision next episode if I'm going to jump down for the boat piece or show a bit of restraint. I'm not sure which one's going to lead to the better outcome, but uh, be sure to tune in for episode three in which I make that big decision. I'm not sure how many episodes there will be in total. Um, that remains to be seen. I heard it's a pretty short game, though. So next episode could be the last one or possibly another one or two after that. You know, thank you again and stay awesome.